we are looking at elections that we have five years to prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, not like education or the drought that is more or less like a process. But when it comes to, to, to the election, at least we have five years. But right now we know very well that we are preparing for our next general election in 2027. We have enough time. First of all, if you get to look at the budgeting uh, that normally is given in terms of how much it would cost to run an election, mm -hmm. and compared to other countries, for our case, it's always huge. Mm -hmm. The amount yes. is so much that uh, as a country we can't even afford to the level where we can say things can go on smoothly. So first of all we need to interrogate why is it so costly for Kenya to run an election? Because with that in mind then we are able to, to you know, objectively uh, interrogate why we are spending so much or why we, want, we need to spend so much on election. Mm -hmm. And uh, over time, then within the five years, we also need to be preparing on some of the, you know, areas. We should not wait until the last minute mm -hmm. to start running around to procure kids to do what, to do what. The last minute. It is even costly to do things last minute. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of things that uh, probably need to be looked into, even in terms of how we spend those resources, the mm -hmm. little resources that we get. How else can we leverage on ICT? to ensure that our, our elections are not that expensive. Mm -hmm. Because there are countries where people just vote from the comfort of their home. Mm -hmm. They don't have to queue all the way. We don't have to carry all these gadgets to you know far end areas and all that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, it is time IBC probably engages Ministry of ICT mm -hmm. to the extent where we can secure our elections mm -hmm. and make it cheaper as well for the country. Yeah.